uh, as far as wind speeds are concerned, can you tell us what the wind speeds are presently and at what time will uh, Migjom, that's the cyclone, make landfall? So at present, wind speed is about 90 to 100 kilometers per hour near the center of the cyclone. And along Nellore and Prakasham districts, wind speed is about 70 to 80 kilometers per hour. The system is moving northward. Therefore, the wind speed near Chennai, Tiruvallur, and Kanchipuram districts of Tamil Nadu are decreasing gradually. And at present, it is about 50 to 60 kilometers per hour it will further decrease near Tamil Nadu coast. But it will increase gradually and from midnight, it may be 90 to 100 kilometers per hour wind speed between Nellore and Maslipatnam and it will continue till 5th December forenoon. At the time of landfall, the maximum impact will be over Kanchipuram and Bapatla district with this type of wind speed. Before that, it will gradually going on impacting Nellore, then Prakasham district, and finally, it is the Bapatla and Krishna district. The would rainfall you uh, is how would you categorize continuing. the storm, sir, and what is the damage that it can cause? Yeah, this is a severe cyclone storm which has got the potential to cause breaking of trees and uprooting, breaking of tree branches, uprooting of small and medium trees, and in some cases, large avenue trees also. Also, it can have the large scale damage. Uh, to the coastal hotments, thatched houses, mud houses, partial damage to electric poles and telephone poles, and there could be uh, damage to hoardings and loose uh, vulnerable structures, which can indirectly impact the human beings also. At the same time, uh, these uh, rainfall will cause inundation, flooding, just like it has happened in north coastal Tamil Nadu districts, especially Chennai. So the towns and cities along coastal Andhra Pradesh also will have extremely heavy rainfall and sometimes it will be exceptionally heavy 30 to 40 centimeter so therefore we should be prepared for the floodings in these um, areas also because of this rainfall tonight and also on fifth from sixth rainfall activity will decrease over andhra pradesh at the same time one to 1.5 meter height storm surge that is the tidal wave above the astronomical tide will inundate the low-lying areas of south coastal andhra pradesh and it will be maximum peak storm surge will be over Bapatla and Krishna district. So, we are sir, expecting so the I landfall understand. between Nellore and Masli Partner. Yes, sir, 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 one sec. Let, let me get in a few questions so that we get a couple of clear answers from you as well. Uh, for, for people who are able to watch in Chennai and now with the electricity situation being what it is, not very many, uh, the, they would want to know when the wind speeds will start decreasing, when the rainfall will start decreasing because they want the floodwaters to go down. Would it be fair to say after midnight, the situation in the greater Chennai area might start to improve? Yes, you are, you are correct. After midnight, the situation will improve over greater Chennai city and also the neighborhood with decrease in rainfall intensity. We will not expect any extremely heavy rainfall after midnight and only heavy rainfall, isolated very heavy rainfall can be expected after that. Certainly, the rainfall intensity will decrease. Wind speed also will decrease as the cyclone is moving away from Chennai towards the north. At present, it is 50 to 60 km per hour wind speed, gusting to 70 km per hour. After midnight, it will become around 35 to 45 km per hour. And what will, uh, By what morning will the speed of tomorrow, be, sir, when it, it makes be, landfall in Andhra Pradesh at about, what, 5 a.m. or so, is that right? What would the w w wind speed then be? Yeah. Over Andhra Pradesh uh, coastal area, now maximum wind is of 7 to 80 kmph. It's prevailing over Nellore and adjoining Prakasham districts. It will gradually increase and extend towards the north, Mapatla and Krishna district after midnight. At the time of landfall, which are expecting forenoon or fifth forenoon, close okay. to Mapatla, at that time, wind speed will be about 90 to 100 km per hour over Mapatla and Krishna districts. And Nellore districts don't speed by that time will decrease. Okay, so this is important news, sir, and thank you very much for sharing time with us. 90 to 100 kilometers per hour likely when it does make landfall uh, in the Krishna district or uh, and the Bapatla areas as well. But you're mentioning for noon, so it's not going to be 5 a.m. as we earlier thought. It would be perhaps a few hours before 12, uh, 12 tomorrow afternoon, right? 
yeah the intensity will be felt till tomorrow noon thereafter after the landfall it will decrease significantly and wind speed will decrease and also accordingly the rainfall will decrease over south coastal andhra pradesh but rainfall will continue after noon over the north coastal andhra pradesh and central part of andhra pradesh so on 6th only yes. it will limited only to the district to the north of visakhapatnam with heavy to very heavy rainfall all right so uh All right, so thank you very much uh, for sharing those details with us, uh, Dr. Bahopatra, Director General of the Indian Med Department. We'll be following that situation and relying on your timely updates. Thank you very much indeed.